Notice that I have in Rhino few interpolated curves. I need to pass them to Grasshopper. So params, curve, right click and select multiple curves. Once I have the curves in Grasshopper, I would love to go to Surface and drag and drop a bounding box. Make sure, make sure to right click and set it to Union box. I need one bounding box for all these curves. And we can press the wheel and disable the preview. Once I have this 2D face, I would like under surface analysis, drag and drop the area component. I need to know the centroid, this little dot right there at the center. Now that I have that, let us move on and go to transform. Under transform and morph, we are going to find Melstrom. Drag and drop this one. And notice that this one needs the geometry. Do we have the geometry? Yep, we have it. Where is it located? We already have the point. If you feel more comfortable or if this geometry is in another construction plane different than X and Y, you should go to vectors and drag and drop the construction plane. I'm going to use X and Y. That's the default. Let me connect it and let me hide the or disable the preview. Now, look what happens. I'm going to hide this and don't forget, we have to take care of the angle. So right click and set it to degrees. And let's set this one to minus 90 dot dot to 90 and connect this one to the angle. So now we can rotate this from minus 90 to 90. Now we need to provide the information for these two circles. The first Click, click. Let's make it from 1 dot dot 10.0. Copy, paste. And we can connect this to the first circle and to the second circle. What I mean by circle is this is the circle is the circle in which this component is affecting my geometry so let me make it as big as my geometry so there you have it you can get very interesting uh, shapes with this component where do we find it? Right there, under Transform and Morph.